Right, you can start. Good afternoon, everyone, and I welcome to today's session. I welcome to General Practitioners Association of Goa. I thank Dr. Harish Shetty for uh, uh, always being there for Goa, and he loves Goa and Goa doctors. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, today's topic is bouncing back virtues, new learnings. And I would like to uh, introduce Dr. Harish Shetty. He doesn't require any introduction. He's a well-known uh, consultant psychiatrist from Mumbai city. Dr. Harish Shetty is a psychiatrist with extensive experience in the field of mental health, especially in connection with disasters. He has worked at Latur in 1992-93 for a year at Kandla after the cyclone for a year, evaluated the psychosocial uh, processes at Jabalpur and Gujarat after the earthquake for a human rights group, and also worked at Gujarat after the last rights for six months. This was on the invitation of Amrita Ben Patel, then head of NDDA. Dr. Shetty has worked extensively with the youth and works with an educational institution every week. He has also provided mental health intervention to seafarers after their release from the clutches of Somalian pirates. He is a governing body member of NTA appointed by Government of India. I welcome Dr. Harish Shetty uh, for today's talk. And I request him to sir, please. Uh, what a beautiful afternoon today to be with doctors from Goa. I think I'm, I'm really blessed and happy to be with you all. It's a long time that I have interacted with my dear friends and doctors from Goa. And I thank Dr. Samuel for inviting me. I'm not going to talk about COVID much, but I'm going to thank everybody we have followed the COVID protocols. My best wishes to all those who have been infected and are recovered and are recovering. And my condolences to all those who have lost their family members in COVID. And uh, may God help them face this loss with great courage. And as I start this, I always said this all my life, that the family physician, it should read family physician, is a sun in the galaxy of medicine. Let me tell you, it's easy to be a psychiatrist, but it's very tough to be a family doctor. I'll tell you why. A patient comes back. A patient comes back from a consultant and actually, and actually talks to you about the adverse effects of the drug and you are supposed to know about it. Any consultant, it could be a psychiatrist, it could be a physician, it could be a cardiologist, it could be a surgeon. You need to know everything about everything. And that's why I call the family doctor as family doctor is a son in the galaxy of medicine. I had, I had used this term and in a, in a book which I wrote long ago from mental illness to mental health. When I say this, I would al also like to show some some, some information which is very important for you before we get into the topic. My dear family doctors, are you aware that one out of, almost one out of six people when their life by suicide are housewives? As a psychiatrist, when I was trained, I was told that single women are more at risk for suicide, but now it is the housewives. So I would like you to understand, appreciate that when you sit in your clinic as a family doctor, pay a little more attention to the mental health of women, especially housewives, and check whether they are depressed or not. Along with that, I would like to give you a very important information. This is not from my play. It's, it's, it's basically an information which is there in the realm of public. One out of three people who actually die of suicide are, are due to family problems. So the role of the family physician is extremely important. 
so important that that a family physician can actually can actually prevent a lot of suicides if they're very alert much earlier and the second is at least one out of six people who end their lives are because of other illnesses that points to the fact that comorbidity of psychiatric illness is very high among diabetes stroke patients hypertension post myocardial infarction kidney disease etc i still remember this young man who was an alcoholic who stopped his alcohol and the family was very happy because he became very quiet he was wild when he used to drink he was violent when he used to drink and they all were rejoicing because atta to gappa salo and when he became gappa they did not know that it was depression on the 21st day when he stopped alcohol he committed suicide because he was depressed alcoholism and depression are like first cousins always screen those who take alcohol for depression and all those screen all those who are depressed for intake of alcohol similarly a patient who had diabetes got his sugar control he became very strict on his diet did all his exercise and then and then he became the best dada of the family and when he became the best dada of the family people were very upset because they were used to a very nice angry verbose extroverted gentleman and when i got a call from the family we do not know his personality has changed after his sugar was controlled and then when i screamed him on phq9 remember i'm going to use this word phq9 very often patient health questionnaire 9 self rating questionnaire which you can use patient can use on himself and i found the score was moderate to severe depression when i screened him i said he said i do not know but i feel very sad i feel very depressed i feel like crying and we do not know why patients with diabetes get depression 20 to 40% of patients with diabetes also have depression so controlling the sugar is not enough what is very important is also screening for depression so my dear family doctors family problems very important one out of three people who end their life by suicide in india are uh, have family problems and one out of five one out of six actually are ill or now goa is number 10th on the suicide list it it the average uh, suicide for india in, in the year 2019 that's the latest figures available is approximately 10 per 1 lakh of population but goa stands at 16.8 and that is something to really worry now let's look at what happened after covid there are three types of people those who have put their mask properly those who have actually done all those things that they should do hid in their house did not go out stayed indoors had the ski or whatever and they were very mindful they followed all the sopis all the protocols they were euphoric now hum bach gaye nothing happened to me we followed the right protocols we did the right thing and they were euphoric and they give long lectures in maharashtra or me kai kala tumhala maiti hai ka we did this we did that and we was going you have to follow this and things would happen but i do not agree with them covid also happened even after we followed all protocols because the virus was very cunning it was invisible and also had a long impact phase which means it hit us across 19 months unlike an earthquake where earthquake comes and goes unlike a cyclone where water comes and goes and unlike unlike a flood where 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 you have a flood and you then completely forget it so these guys are very euphoric and then you have this reckless guys i i go word word guy and i guy in maharashtra there quite a few i don't know about goa covid is a government conspiracy kuch covid covid nahi bhai kuch nahi hai ye kuch covid nahi sab jhoot hai bhai apne ko to kuch hua nahi apun to mechanic hai apun sab karta hai apne kuch hua nahi so these are reckless guys who are very ecstatic but the third group is very different well those who recovered after having covid have become very compassionate a lot of doctors who would not call up the other doctors would flash their car keys and were very proud of the hospitals they own have become very humble 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 simple 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 so what happened due to covid covid told us ki bhai tumhare hath mein kuch nahi you can build intercontinental ballistic missiles you can build the best guns on the earth 
you can you can have whatever but i am an invisible virus i can pull you down i can pull you down mortkem they say it in, in 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 goa that's what i read somewhere but and all those who are recovered are very compassionate they have become very kind and without the intervention of the psychiatrist their nature has changed completely and these are the three important changes we see in covid i would like to share this phrase by dr harish shetty that in your practice what you actually need to do is that you need to help lock minds open their mind because it's so important it's so important and and uh, and, and and if if the minds are locked it is like time bombs diffuse it early lest it explodes inside you so uh, one of the main tasks as a mental health professional one of the main task as a family doctor in fact uh, you guys are all mental health soldiers you are front line border security force on the borders of 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 the macmohan line preventing mental illness promoting mental health and assisting in the treatment of mental illness so this is a sentence should be there on your lips all the time uh samuel i'll send i'll send you all the slides yes sir <laughs> yes sir you can share yes, it with everybody definitely there is nothing like like patent i mean ideas yes, have to be shared so i'll send you all the slides so yes, lock minds are time bombs diffuse it early lest it explode inside and you all know that mind and body are in constant conversation and in this conversation there has to be harmony this harmonious conversation can lead to the body crying and when the body starts crying the pancreas goes on a strike it says i refuse to give you insulin calcium says i'll go and deposit myself on the cardiac vessels and the stomach says i will not give you any digestive enzymes to digest your food and the liver says i'll be very sluggish i will not clean your body the way you want to so the mind and the body have to be in constant conversation the body and the cosmos have to be aligned and that's what health is all about let me tell you what happens after the covid and you will get a lot of patients like this panic attacks in fact uh, it is said uh, very very unofficially that raj kapoor uh, played that instrument when he saw rajendra kumar very close to vijayanti mala in one of the old movies i think it's sangam i do not i do not remember it could be sangam and what he said was his heart was beating faster kuch ho jayega mujhe aisa lagta hai ki i will i will i will die and and when and when he said this some people come to you with the symptoms heart is beating faster maka jatal hai kuch to jatal hai maka ha martal hai and when he when he said the same that they come with a thick file physicians have bhulai kar deta hai hundreds of ecgs all the tests not intensely but because to allay the fear of the patient and sometimes one physician will look at the ecg and say ecg is okay but khalas when you say ecg is okay but you are gone you are gone which means that kuch to hai and what is it that we need to do we need to understand and listen and call this patient the last patient of the day and say listen to me my dear friend your brain is playing games with your heart it is the main switch that's the problem the bulb is okay the bulb will not stop is the main switch i need to flip the main switch and they last to why they will ask them to ka stress asa and they will say i have no stress at all everything is all right my family is all right my husband is all right my children are all right i do not know then you slowly explore did you see any death in your family did you see a dead body did you hear about anybody's death did you see an accident around you have you had any traumatic incidents in childhood i still remember this man who came to me perfectly he was there was no history at all but there was one history and that was that he had seen the 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 the, the screenshots of the chinese first impact of the covid wave and uh, and when he saw that those images were locked in his mind when the images are locked there are no visible symptoms in the mind the symptoms are in the body and the symptoms are basically basically uh, the most important symptoms are the most important symptoms are that i feel like choking 
breathless, dizziness, giddiness, trembling, tremors, wanting to pee again and again, and a feeling of impending doom. And remember, this is a bread and butter for family doctors. And this should be treated by family physicians. They should not be referred to psychiatrists at all. They should be treated by family physicians. And you have to be very careful. You have to check for stress, as I've said. Sometimes, without any trigger, you can have a panic attack. Without any trigger, you can have a panic attack. You may have phobia, anxiety at particular situations, which means inside a closed lift, and at heights, open doors, closed doors, darkness, etc., etc., etc. And at all these places, you might feel extremely anxious and have a panic attack. One thing is very important. In the elderly, depression can present as panic attacks. So you need to probe. You need to probe. And then you need to ask for sadness and other symptoms. And then you will find that the presenting symptom was panic, but the underlying symptoms were a depression. <coughs> Psychiatrists miss panic for depression. Psychiatrists overdiagnose depression and family doctors underdiagnose depression and, 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 and diagnose depression as panic attack. So you need to be very careful. Uh, and the fourth thing which is very important is postpartum depression. And that can present as, I, I feel so scared. My heart is beating fast. I don't feel like looking at my child, but I feel something is happening to me. I can't, I can't take care of my child. I wish that the child is taken care of by somebody else. That is not panic. That is depression. And, and so we need to be very clear on, on when you look at a panic attack, go beyond the panic, check whether it's only panic, check whether there's any, any story behind it. Sometimes panic attack can come without any story. In those who are extremely anxious in families, it can run in families. So the best treatment is kill the panic attack by a benzodiazepine, kill it. Shoot it down by one milligram of the pound. The patient should say, I feel extremely nice now. How did it go, doctor? Your God. No need to refer a panic attack to a psychiatrist. Remember one thing. Common psychiatric illnesses, minor psychiatric illnesses has to be treated by a family physician. Complicated psychiatric illnesses should be seen, should be seen by a psychiatrist. Simple panic attack, simple anxiety, simple depression without suicidal ideations, without intake of any, any substance, and without bipolar disorder has to be treated by a family doctor. Postpartum depression, simple, no suicidal ideations has to be treated by a family physician. So learn to treat psychiatric illnesses. Every other field has snatched everything from you. The pediatricians are giving polio drops. Neurologists are treating psychiatric illnesses. Surgeons are treating malaria and dengue with the hospitals. So you need to take care of psychiatry on more. This second sentence, uh, which, which I always share in the last two years, mind and body are in constant conversation. Equal attention to both helps immunity, health, and equanimity. Extremely important. Extreme, and this sentence, when you tell the family members, they understand that they should not take care only of the body. They have to, they have to take care of the mind. Because when you take care of the mind, body is also taken care of. And this helps immunity, health, and equanimity. My dear friends, unusual presentations of depression. I feel very tired, doctor. I don't know. I've done all the tests, including the PET scan of the entire body. I don't know. I feel extremely tired, extremely exhausted. I feel so exhausted that I can't describe it to you. This is not chronic fatigue syndrome. This is depression. And when you treat them with a tricyclic, imipramine or amitriptyline, commonest use, or docelpine, that is uh, uh, dothip or dothiodine or doremi. Or if you treat them with SSRI, small dose of acetylopram, 5mg, you say 20mg. Or if you treat them with, uh, with sertraline, 25mg to 100mg, 
or if you treat them with fluoxetine 10 mg to 40 mg you'll find depression goes away energy comes back and the patient starts saying uh, no exhaustion is gone doctor what did you give me you gave me an energy pill so important and and makka tired i have no energy left at me all reports are normal hemoglobin is 15.5 everything is perfectly all right and there you have to suspect depression again this unusual presentation but you need to be very careful you have to differentiate agitation from anxiety anxiety means maka biran jata mean how bhita biran jata maka bhita maka kalna how martale anxiety agitation i am restless but i can't stand it until i need I, should, i think i should go up and down up and down i feel so agitated ki phula maru ki mus phund maru feel like breaking things feel like hitting myself killing myself agitation once there was a 16 year old boy who broke things in the house since eight days they 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 came to me they said no love affair exam going well money is good attending everything properly and the family doctor uh, came in and told me he said could it be adolescent crisis i said no adolescent crisis will not start suddenly at a point of time and he starts breaking things this is adolescent depression and one tablet of sertraline 50 mg the boy's entire anger goes then one one more important symptom in this boy was after he broke things he felt very very guilty and that is a very important sign feeling a lot of guilt when when your wife or your husband slaps you and then if he or she feels guilty that is depression when is when he or she slaps you and abuses you then that is not depression <laughs> remember that so there is a lot of pachtawa there is a lot of remorse and regret in agitation i like to share this famous word which you need to really have it in your brain all your life psychomotor agitation mind is also restless body is also restless makkalna makkalna i makka i think i should break that thing i should i should run away from the house i get up at 4 at 4 o'clock and i go up and down as psychomotor agitation not anxiety anxiety is something up to you i get thoughts about the past i get thoughts oh my god when i was pregnant with my daughter i did not eat the laddu which my mother in law gave me that's why my son is not doing well my daughter is not doing well in the exam you go in the past an anxious person will 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 be will be worried about the future most often and a depressed person will have regret about the past psychomotor agitation by heart kar do dimag mein gusne do and when somebody walks up and down in the banquet doctor is walking up and down the banquet restless point out and said psychomotor agitation <laughs> then there is psychomotor retardation which means i still remember i went to a school and after my talk they brought me to the trustees room badam badam samosa bamsa wafer paper chai pilaya and then the principal came and whispered in the ears of the trustee and she said there is this boy sir he is not coming to school for 6 months we have sent letters and letters and letters and 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 and, and he has not come stay just opposite the school nowadays these boys and girls are very bad parents also are very bad we i think we should remove him from the school hari shetty has fought all his life to see to it that the kids remain inside the school i have fought exclusion all my life court cases etc 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 and i told what happened ma'am and she said this opposite the school this boy is staying and and i don't know he's not come we send letters after letters phone calls after phone call i said why don't you send a teacher good teachers don't make home visits great teachers do and i said since i'm here it will take me 10 minutes i'll come with the teacher and when i came with the teacher i went inside the father was very apologetic he had sent certificates of malaria dengue last certificate was of covid he said to oh, he is sleeping this was during the first day he is sleeping he is not getting up at all he is not attending online classes and i think he is lazy nowadays kids are spoiled he is not taking drugs doctor is eating less and he is lying on the bed not coming up he is lazy i said this is not laziness this is psychomotor retardation there is psychomotor agitation and there is psychomotor retardation and then i told him 
अमिताभ बच्चन सेड वंस दो बूंद जिंदगी की मैं कहता हूं एक या दो गोली खुशी की एंड वेन वी स्टार्टेड हिम ऑन एसिटल ऑफ क्राम द बॉय केम बैक टू स्कूल इन फोर वीक्स टाइम ऑनलाइन so the principal learned one of the biggest lessons in her life that never believe that a child if is not if is refusing to come to school if a doctor is refusing to come to practice it's not because he or she is not interested he is lazy it could be psychomotor retardation a very important symptom of depression and when we do all this we need to look at one more symptom excessive guilt excessive guilt i bought a house the other day a man said i bought a house with emi my father gave me half the money and i don't know what is going to happen i troubled them a lot my father is 68 years old i took all his money i feel extremely guilty doctor my mother has got a knee operation and that knee operation she is not able to walk doctor i feel extremely guilty i am responsible for all the ills and the woes in my family and the best way for me is to die depression excessive pathological guilt depression and 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 it's so important to understand that when somebody has exaggerated guilt you need to over diagnose depression remember doctors at this point of time in life and depression is endemic mind has not changed its size brain has not changed its size shape color volume weight and even textures but depression is increasing why because the environment is changing so cell depression cell antidepressant which means err on the side of treating the patient for depression if you are in doubt excessive guilt response to antidepressants and always ask every patient who is down in your practice do you feel like dying gone are the days when you have been trained to say gol gol pucho pehla ask them whether they feel like living then ask them whether they feel god should really take them then ask them whether you feel god should actually take them now and then ask them whether you want to end your life but the times have changed now what was in the realm of elicitation the question of suicidal thoughts is in the is in the realm of inquiry which means what malaria we ask straight ta pani thandi ahe ka do you have fever which is straight we don't elicit oh tumse jawal koni machhar ala hota kare did you see a mosquito under your bed did the mosquito actually cut bite you we don't ask we straight away ask do you have fever which is similarly we need to ask straight do you feel like harming yourself and remember the myth that people believe that when you ask a question people you will actually put a thought in the mind of person is false if you ask a question people might say how do you know doctor are you an astrologer actually i have been feeling that for a very long time refer them to a psychiatrist so important my dear friends so 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 important excessive guilt is a very important sign so my dear friends in covid we saw apathy empathy and antipathy apathy shut down people are dying all around the mind shuts down to protect yourself no mood to say to send your condolences to your neighbors no mood to actually to say to do anything for anybody and you shut down <coughs> and when you're numb and you shut down there's no empathy empathy ke liye you need sadness you need to feel sad for empathy you need to actually have emotional regulation equanimity samanta in the mind and then you feel like empathy feel empathetic so many of you have helped so many people in covid that's because you had empathy but antipathy also prevailed at that point of time and i will tell you i still remember this boy whom i was treating for depression he was not improving medications counseling therapy he had lost his his parents and there was no improvement at all and when there was no improvement at all i asked is there something wrong my dear friend and he or she said yes doctor my sister abuses me all the time and when i got the sister there she said dr shetty my brother this boy was responsible for the death of my parents because he was going to work and he got covid we all got covid and the parents died we both have survived i can't look at his face i abuse him every day 
And then I called the sister and I sat with them, sat with her and said, as she shared and cried and cried, I said, my dear sister, it is the COVID virus that killed your parents. It was the COVID virus that infected you and your brother. He did not kill your parents. So antipathy is also seen during COVID. So you, some people, uh, you may have a cycle of apathy, antipathy, and empathy. And that is a very important phenomenon we see when there's a disaster of such a magnitude. So my dear friends, how to explain to, to, to patients whether it is stress or depression? Stress is something you fail in exams and you have a breakdown, but, but friends help you, you go for a holiday, you, you, you cry and people help you go for, and you feel better. That is stress of the mind. Man ka moch, man ka lachak. But when you have depression, it's a fracture of the mind, which means what? Which means, kuch bhi karo, kuch bhi karo. I, I, I just cannot do yoga. I just cannot appreciate all the good things that people have done to me. I see a slum in Goa and Switzerland to be the same. Nothing moves, there's paralysis. The mind is like a stone and that is depression. And when people say, make me all right very fast, should I actually ask the patient to do yoga? I said, if you have a fracture of the hand, will you ask the person to lift a bucket? And that's exactly what happened with depression. Depression is, <coughs> a, it is an invisible illness. It's very cunning. It comes in many, many, many disguises. And, and what, is, what is important is fracture of the hand is visible, but depression is invisible. So you need to make the visible, invisible visible. And you need to really educate a lot of parents and relatives not to give advice. Three wrong things which parents or, or relatives say. One, taka, nothing has happened to him. All reports are normal. Acting karta to. Look at him. Everything is okay. And I tell them, gentlemen, you do not know what is happening inside him. And when you say that in front of the depressed patient, he feels you have understood it. You do not know what is happening inside him or her. You really do not know what, what, is, what is the agony is. He just, he, for him, a small ant is like an elephant. A small phone call is like picking up a quintal of rice. And depression is so invisible that you need to understand what it is. And when, when the parents start empathizing and they say, they do not say that you are acting, they do not say there's nothing wrong with you. They, they don't suffer from look at me syndrome. The look at me syndrome is very dangerous. Huh? Makapale, I have faced so many troubles in my life. I get up at four o'clock and do yoga. Why get up at four o'clock sleep? No. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Are Baba, Tirko depression hoega na, Tirko bhi aisa hi hoega. You'll also suffer in the same manner. So making the invisible depression visible to the close members of the family helps, helps recovery. And that is so important. As I said, depression is very cunning. It can come in many disguises. This is Ravan coming in the, in the form of a sage and abducting Sita. And uh, this is a very apt picture. Now, what can you do? My dear doctors, bhar bhar ke aise sarai dene ka. But ek baat hai, ask one thing, ha, suicidal thoughts, history of mania, hypomania, history of, of substance abuse, any complicated depression, psychiatric, simple depression, you can treat. SSRIs, acetylopram, sertraline, paroxetine, fluoxamine are SSRIs. And you can actually give it in the first episode of depression, nine to 12 months after recovery and tell them at least 9 to 12 months. A lot of patients will come to you and say, I'm better, please stop my treatment. I tell them, you stop eating your food. You have been eating your food for 45 years. You're addicted to food, stop eating your food. I also tell them sometimes that you have a car, you take the car for every every 5,000 5, kilometers to the garage because, because you need to check the car and you need to maintain the car. I, so I use a lot of metaphors and analogies to see to it that the patient do not stop medications because stopping medications early can cause a relapse. And Indians have this habit, when they go to a vegetable market, they need to decrease the cost of the vegetables. How come karega kya? And when they come to a doctor, a psychiatrist or a GP, they will say, stop the medicines. These are sleep medicines and a lot of myths around that kidney kharab hoega, liver kharab hoega. But I tell them in Marathi, bhaji poli goli. You need to take the pill for your mind. 
this is Khurak. And you can use SSRIs, you can use tricyclic, amitriptyline, imipramine, nortriptyline, dosalpine, very important. And among the benzodiazepines, lorazepam, clonazepam are the best. Avoid giving alprazolam, sometimes very difficult to really, really withdraw. Anxiolytics, you can use etizolam is also a good anxiolytic. You can use uh, bipron uh, uh, also, which is good. And you can use a few other drugs. These are drugs that you can safely use. And when you treat somebody for depression on your own, keep in touch with the psychiatrist so that you, so that you are covered. And when you treat depression, uh, if when you treat five patients of depression yourself and the patient recovers, you have more confidence in treating many. My dear friends, I said this, there is no strong mind. <clears throat> mind is not made of iron or steel. It's made of neurons and you have to nourish it always, always. Nothing to worry. Samuel, I'm going to send you the entire set. Don't worry. <laughs> and the mind is not, not made of iron or steel. It's made of neurons and in nourish it always. So my dear friends, in, uh, you, you guys have, have a very low hit of the COVID virus. When Maharashtra lockdown full gaya, there's a sheer jungle se bhaga hai, ma kasam, chao daru bhenge, kasoli jayenge, kasare kasoli kyo ya, dombe ke nazdik karjat hai. And we'll go to Maldives, Mauritius, base camp, manje kai auti bhauti kai disatas netyana, they don't see any good things around me. It's like saying, that we should go for the uh, we should go for the for the for the beauty pageant in Italy. <laughs> that is so So what happens when you're locked? You unlock. Uh, why? Because you have no, you have not practiced mindfulness across the time of disaster. So unwinding would mean paila, neighbors ko namaskar bolo, tumare ghar mein kitna log jinda hai. We do it in Bombay. We do not know who, who has died, who has not. I have lost two people in my own family. And that has been very difficult. Talk to your friends very close by. Are, instead of going to Kasoli, Karjat, Kalsubai Park on the Sayadri, a good place to trek. Start with little joys, mindful gatherings. And I have used this term today in my, in my Sunday talk, which, I've been, which we have been doing with Dr. Shashan Dushi for the last two years. And I said, let's there be a pandemic of mindfulness. Each mindfulness, the power of, of mindfulness is recognized never before, but today. Anybody who's practicing yoga, practicing vipassana, practicing any form of meditation, the, the rosary, the tasbi, or practicing silence, mindful silence, will do much better than those who are distracting themselves with other things. I still remember this man he was running and having alcohol every day. And then when, I, when his wife came to me, I checked with him. He said, I get a lot of thoughts. I was admitted in the hospital. I was in an ICU. I saw bodies going away. I still can't remove those thoughts. Those thoughts come to me again and again. And to block those thoughts, I go and drink alcohol. It is known following a disaster, alcoholism and addiction increases. It is known following a disaster, high-risk behavior increases, and HIV incidence also has increased in the past. So unwinding would mean little, little joy. Thoda, thoda milneka, and Goa, well, everything is open because Goa has had very little hits. Other day, a mother lost, a, a, a woman lost husband, a doctor of repute, in spite of two vaccinations and in spite of antibodies. Well, we don't know what happens. COVID only knows whom to kill, and whom to, whom, to, whom to save. And after that, this, this, this woman has not grieved. She has not cried. And since the boy was my friend, we went to her house and she said, the children always watch me. They don't allow me to cry because everybody says crying means their self-esteem will get destroyed. Are vaya. And all these guys in families, I am the pillar of the family, Kaiko, Kashala, he has any building stood on one pillar? Have you seen a building standing on one pillar? No. A family has pillars, little pillars, middle pillars, intermediate pillars, and big pillars. And when I cremated my auntie alone with my, with my nephew, everybody was positive. I was crying like a small child. My nephew was crying like a small child. And the small pillar was consoling the big pillar, and the big pillar was consoling the small pillar. 
it is so important to cry and pass this actual message to your family members jo beh gaya wo pani hai jo reh gaya wo zeher hai the mind and the body there's a lot of poison if you stop the tears because then there'll be a lot of trouble inside your body so always understand that tears are liberating never stop the mother slowly stop remember a family that cries together heals together they say the family that prays together stays together but a family that cries together heals together building does not stand on one pillar it needs multiple pillars to stand and all pillars are equally important well if so i say united states of america potus has told the us navy pentagon and the us admiral has told the us navy that on your ships you have the yoga yoga to hoga yoga is not a retirement policy yoga is not for bored housewives it's for you and me from age of 3 from the time we start breathing till we stop breathing and this is a very powerful antidote for for stress and this is part of your mindful exercise and as i stop and take all your questions yoga calms down the amygdala we do not become phatkal or mufat yoga improves our prefrontal cortex we take we take decisions properly properly without any rush yoga improves the limbic system and the hippocampus improves memory in school children and yoga has a lot of other beneficial activities recently in a in a research by iitb bombay among mba students they found that uh, with yoga their grades improve the interpersonal relationships improve and the mental health improve there's there are enough evidences meta analysis of multiple studies and remember 15 minutes of pranayam is much better than half a peg of whiskey exercise dissolves fears and tears and all the bones here if i tell you if i ask you what is black dog you're going to tell me it's a whiskey no black dog was a term which which winston churchill gave to his depression and the who made a 4 minute movie on black dog depression and you should advise every patient to watch it because that says that exercise is an antidepressant when it is mild when you have stress and as an adjuvant with other 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 medications when the patient is improving well diet as you know has a very strong correlation with mood sleep and a lot of insomnia a lot of sleep deprivation has been seen in covid and a lot of disturbance in hypothalamus or pituitary adrenal axis a lot of cortisol reigns and a lot of people also can really disturb the panchamrut means you need to sleep and the last is kindness my dear friends as i stop i would like to say you need to tell all your patients time is not always the best healer photo mat kis mai tere ko bechta hu and 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 you you would say that your time and everybody says time it will all get healed in time god is there praise the lord hallelujah you might say our kul devta shanta durga will go and he will take care of everything time are what time when sugar is 500 you say time se sugar kam ho jayega when you say your bp is 190 you say time se sala bp kam ho jayega no when you drink two bottles of alcohol you say time se sab kuch liver acha hoga nahi time is not always the best healer i would like to share an anecdote after one year of the disaster at latur i still remember the senior ias officer saying we have built all the houses but mental health hai na samay se acha hoga and i told him i was younger and a little bolder little plucky little spunky but even i am still still the same i told him sir that fan which it falls on your head and you start bleeding while you are talking will you say this bleeding will stop after some time no time is not always the best healer and in a disaster in our any mental health event time does not help what helps is actually intervention and my dear friends i would like to say kindness has been found to improve immunity and improve mental health harvard has has a study which says when they show films of kindness of mother teresa igg improves hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis improves my dear friends if you have stopped talking to any of your friend for 20 years mbbs mein usko apne se anatomy mein usko zyada mat mila baad mein sala wo mere ko bhavne deta tha then i stopped talking to him pick up the phone and 
to talk. If your uncles or your aunts have snatched all your, your property and you stop talking to their cousins, to your cousins, tell yourself, I'm nafrat ke baar isne banenge, I'm phone to utha kar baat karenge. If you have somebody somewhere staying alone, old man, old woman around you, yeah, pick up the phone and talk. And I would tell each one of you, call up every person on your friends list in the phone and ask them, how are you? How are you is one of the most important interventions post-COVID. And I'll tell you, when kindness oozes from your heart, your mental health improves, you become a better human being and you become a complete human being. Life has meaning. And meaning in life is an antidepressant. Meaninglessness is a cause of depression. With this, I thank Goa General Practitioner Association. I thank my dear friend, Samuel. And each one of you have joined. I have finished the presentation a little early so that I can answer your questions. Thank you. So thank you very much. There are four questions. Can I take one, one by one? Yes, of course. Yes, sir. Thank you, Samir, for that beautiful sentence, Dr. Samir Mori. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, by Dr. Sachin Kumar Khade, comment on time management in medical profession. My God, what a phrase. There is nothing like work-life balance. All those guys who must have come and given you all, all lectures on work-life balance, all bullshit. Work-life balance is a myth. Imbalance is the truth. Finding balance and imbalance is the key. Are you are a you are a doctor at night? Somebody says, "My father has got got chest pain." I called all doctors; they were not there. And your wife says, "You, I have planned a dinner. Where will you go? You will go to the patient." So, time life balance, work life balance is a myth. Finding imbalance is the truth. Finding balance and imbalance is the, is, is is what is important. But I would like to also add, my dear friend. Find time for half an hour of exercise and 15 minutes of yoga. I walk 7,500 steps inside my house every day. Come what may, I go late. And I do 15 minutes of pranayam. Sometimes if I have to go late, on Monday morning, I have an appointment at 9 a.m. So I may miss that. But what I'll do is I'll compensate for that on Tuesday. So four to five days, I'll do something which is important for me. My dear friends, if you're unwell, doctors, remember, don't stretch your physical health too far. The patient will find another doctor, but your wife or your child or your husband will not find another father, another mother. And that is important. Thank you, Samuel. So beautifully explained this question. Uh, the next question is uh, with the same doctor, Sachin Kumar Khade. Give some guidance to relieve anxiety and stress related in critical patient management in ICU physicians. Uh, yes, yes, definitely. Uh, uh, thank you. Sonal, for your kind words. Thank you, Nisha, for your kind words. Thank you, Dr. Bedekar, for a lovely uh, phrase which you put. Well, in critical care, remember, you have to use humor. I'll tell you, there was an 84-year-old woman who got admitted in ICU after COVID. And, and she, she survived. Huh? She would say, nurse, you are so far away. Where How are you? How is the family? How do you work so hard? And the nurse got so touched and she did everything for that lady. Similarly, she did with all the doctors. So what is very important is five things. Number one is, as a critical care expert, remember, my dear doctor, work in pairs. No, no critical expert, care expert is God. So, so please, please work in pairs. I once said, I once told a very a great critical care doctor, share your emotions after, at the end of the day. Because I have no time to share emotions. We go, back, we go from one patient to the other. And if you share emotions, what will happen is it will be ineffective. I said, G. I did not elaborate the word G. I said, G. And then I told him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told him, like, critical care, if you block your emotions, <laughs> remember my first slide, you will not be able to help Dada. You are not, you don't, you should not become dehumanized. <laughs> the morgue attendant becomes dehumanized. The cop who refuses to be aware of his emotions gets dehumanized. You don't get dehumanized. If you get dehumanized, you will not be able to love your family the way you love them, the, the way you would want to love them. So at the end of the day, two critical care guys would sit down and, and have a cup of coffee and say, 
चला वो फिर पे वो सला उसको मैंने ऑक्सीजन दिया मेरा इतना दिमाग से थक गया लगा हो गया कान के नीचे में दो बजा हो गया once in a while once in two days if a patient is going home leave the patient up to the gate and that really improves the mood of the patient and the doctor it becomes a memorable event for the patient and for you and that improves the mood that that improves the mood of the of the critical care patient as well as the doctor third thing is sometimes my dear doctors patients don't go don't go vertically they go horizontally and i remember when i claimed the body of man there was there was only one nurse and she did not know what to say what to, she only knew how, what are the papers uh, i should sign and at that point of time once in a while when somebody goes and the dead body goes up to the ambulance it's a nice thing to give a nice bidai to go up to the ambulance do this and say all the best we are with you and that keeps the mental health of the critical care specialist good now what should you do inside inside number 1 teach the nurses what to talk and what not to talk and the new nurse comes फर्स्ट क्लास अरे ट्वेंटी किधर गया वो तो कल गया I went there to the ICU and I just did this in front of uh, the doctor and the relatives. And she came back and said, "Never in my life in the hospital as any any doctor." I still remember. So human interaction, human human conversation, a little humor also. I still remember a police officer in the ICU when prone prone position of COVID asked for a flute. He was a flute player and we gave him the flute and he started playing the flute. and the entire covid ward was was happy for a few minutes when he could play so improving the mood being funny not when somebody is very serious you should know when to be funny provoking laughter touching the heart of the patient not only improves your mood but improves the i always have this famous quote which i use all the time since last 40 years when you smile at the patient patient gets healed he might not improve he gets healed he might not improve when when the patient smiles back at you you get healed so we need to do a lot of these small things inside the critical care and a critical care specialist when he comes home do not carry your visiting card so many critical care patients come home with big faces aurat ko samajhna chahiye mere ko kya hota wife should know what is happening to him are <laughs> yaar the most critical care a uh, doctor in the in the entire universe is the mother he is a wife who cooks for you <laughs> that is the most critical care so you need to leave your card behind leave your designation behind but when you feel sad you can share with your spouse sometimes your spouse may be one of the most important healers for you and he or she might understand so let your tears flow allow your smiles to be infectious because tears and smiles are two sides of the same coin experiencing both will keep your health better and to help you to be a great doctor in the critical the, the other day uh, a critical care doctor lost a patient uh, he lost a doctor and then lot of two of his friends abused him tune sala usko ye drug kyu nahi diya he said but wo evidence mein nahi tha then somebody said tune usko ye kyu nahi kiya i fired those two doctors i said after somebody is dead in spite of all the effort you are abusing the doctor you should first find and ask him how does he feel about what happened console him help him feel good because we are not gods some go horizontally some go vertically we need to support each other and that i think is very very important thank you samuel so very truly said human touch and humor is very important for the critical patients by dr sanju yadav is there anything such as abnormal excessive crying <clears throat> very true thank you sanjeev kuril for your beautiful words thank you gajanan for so nice thank you sachin for your kind words and thank you everybody for all your kind words yes 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 tears ka range hota hai boss 
जैसा फिश का भी होता है ना रेंज छोटा पापलेट का कितना प्राइस <laughs> कापरी का प्राइस ज्यादा साइज के ऊपर प्राइस है ना होटल के अंदर या मच्छी बाजार में तो समटाइम्स टीयर सम पीपल आर वेरी टीयरफुल पिक्चर देखते तो रोता है कोई वो 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 दैट्स द नेचर दैट्स ओके दैट्स परफेक्टली ऑल दैट सम पीपल सम पीपल क्राई विद सर्टेन पीपल देयर आर सम सम पेशेंट्स हु क्राई विद देयर विद द डॉक्टर्स यू नो व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे आर अशेम टू क्राई एट होम दे आर हेड्स ऑफ द फैमिली एंड एंड दे आर दे आर रिडिकुल इफ दे क्राई विद विद देयर विद द फैमिली एंड देयर व्हाट हैपेंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द डॉक्टर इट कुड बी अ स्मॉल स्ट्रेस इट कुड बी अ स्मॉल हर्ट and he or she wants to share that with you he or she is not interested in any answers and as long as the tears are not affecting their life as long as they are able to, to to experience cheerfulness and joy as long as they are able to do their work as 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 well as they can and as long as they are able to interact with the world around and they are in balance with themselves and outside perfect tear okay third is a uh, tears which are little more i don't know but when i see a sad scene i started crying and it started at a point of time when it starts at a point of time there is something happening inside it could be a story in your life it could be an event in your life it could be something coming from the past it could be andropause or menopause it could be low vitamin b12 low vitamin d3 thyroid etc etc so you need to check all that and treat it as a physical issue and then if a person is very tearful check for depression and treat your depression but there's one quote in psychiatry which is very important all those who are crying may not always be depressed and all those who are depressed may not always choose to cry so tears respect the tears tears have a story and 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 it's important to go to the story and it's important to heal excessive crying because sadness is a positive emotion depression is a negative state and those who uh, lastly uh, samuel if those who block yes, tears नहीं आम लगा हो तो नहीं आम लगा आम आम ही नौ बजे सामिता बच्चन परंपरा प्रतिष्ठा और अनुशासन इस गुरु कुल के तीन नियम हैं एंड दोस वो डू नॉट एक्सपीरियंस सैडनेस दे कैन नॉट लव एंड दोस वो कैन नॉट एक्सपीरियंस सैडनेस दे कैन नॉट एक्सपीरियंस जॉय सो ऑल ऑल इमोशंस आर इम्पोर्टेंट एंड � Interferes with interferes with love every way. If you intensely hate your mother-in-law, you can't love your wife or your husband, and and that also is very very important. So so anger is a positive emotion. Resentment is a negative state. So experience anger, mata rageta. Anger is positive, but humiliation, aggression, and insulting somebody is negative. Sir, by Doctor Sachin Kumar Khadi, how to combat depression in medical professions? देखो भाई गोल्ड मेडल से तुम्हारा पैसा का इक्वेट नहीं कर सकता इफ यू आर द बेस्ट डॉक्टर इन द इन द इन द मेडिकल कॉलेज इट माइट नॉट इक्वेट विद 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 व्हाट यू हैव इन द प्रैक्टिस सम टाइम यू माइट हैव आई टेन एंड सम टाइम समबडी मे हैव अ मार्क अभी एज एंड व्हेन आई गो गो टू गोवा व्हेन सैमुअल पिक्स मी अप आई फील वेरी लो आई फील सला ये सला घूमता है मार्क में अपन सला बम्बे में भी मार्क नहीं घूमता है एंड दैट इज अ फीलिंग यू माइट हैव बट व्हाट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज and that i have been able to get into my system is that nishkam karma continuously do your task without bothering what happens and when the fan goes around your head you know that on that day you have been nice to your patients you have been fair to your family you may have made mistakes and you you are, you are prepared to correct those mistakes And and COVID has really reminded us that we are conquering the travelers and desert. You should have aspirations always. You should be ambitious always. But at the end of the day, ask yourself: Is there tranquility? Is there peace? Is there equanimity? Are you able to talk to your friends the way you would you would talk to them when you when you started your practice? Envy is very very normal, but pathological jealousy is abnormal. so in this short span of life on this beautiful earth uh see that you chase peace and joy is a by product of peace i think that that is something very important as and when you are in a crisis please seek help from a from a psychiatrist don't hide and as and when uh, you 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 practice and you get bored of practice remember samuel there are some people who said kaisa practice a routine hai how is marriage routine hai because you lost your zest 
go to CMEs, learn more, meet people outside your practice, read literature, read history, awesome. run, sing, and see to it that your color of life, your leisure time is occupied with something very nice and very good. Thank you, Samuel. There's no perfect uh, perfect remedy, but please, Panchamruta. Yes, sir. Sleep, diet, exercise, and kindness. Dr. Praveen Rathod has written, it was a wonderful presentation. Can we get the PPTs of presentation? Yes, I doctor will, has will, promised. I will send that. it to Samuel. He can, he can give it to everybody. Yes, definitely. Ideas have no ownership. It. Ideas have no ownership. It has a life, energy, and a duration of itself. I would uh, tell the participants that it is on YouTube also. It is going on live. And if anybody wants to see the uh, presentation again, can go visit YouTube and see. Uh, the next question is, sir, Dr. Sachin Kumar Khade, we, all, we always compare our profession with other. How I can say confidently my medical profession is great? Well, uh, my dear Mr. Kade, there was once my guru, Professor N. N. Vick. He was a psychiatrist at Chandigarh. He was he headed the World Health Organization, Southeast Asian. He's my guru. He once came to Mumbai and we gave him the Lifetime Achievement Award. We asked him to send his CV. He sent a five-line CV. And we were very shocked. And when he came, I asked him, sir, five lines in the He said, as you grow, your CV should shrink. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> From that day, <laughs> I also, also thought, but people chased me, so I sent. And he said at the end of his lecture, if I'm born again, I will still be a psychiatrist. And I repeat this again, if I'm born again, I'll still be a psychiatrist. My dear doctors, we change lives. We actually change lives. And we are not paid as much as we should for, for changing those lives. We bring smiles in the, in the face of the children, of patients, adult patients, and elderly patients. We, give, we get so much love. People invite us for them, for the kids' marriages. People, people wish us on festivals. Give us sweets. They pray for us. In Goa, every patient prays for the doctor. <laughs> I mean, they go and they pray for you, they say. And, and still, in spite of all the, all the negatives we hear about uh, the consumer code, there's still a lot of regard for us, much more than the CEO of, 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 of Wipro much more than the CEO of Infosys. And, and I'll tell you this, whenever you go, uh, go out in a shop, suddenly somebody pats your back and says, doctor, you know who am I? And your senior doctor, family doctor at the age of 60, or 60 they, they like all teachers, they put in, yes, yes, yes. And they say, no doctor, you don't remember me. I came to you 20 years back and you gave me one advice and a few tablets, and I was so scared. It changed my life. Can ever, in any field, anybody can ever experience this joy. This is only exclusively for the medical practice. And, and you should be proud of that. And I say that again, if I'm born again, I'll be born, I would like to be born and be a psychiatrist. And how much you earn is not what is it. What you are is more important than what you have. I think this is the philosophy of my Sir, in Goa, all at least ninety percent of patients they say "Dev to the Barakar" while going. <laughs> yeah, yes, and because in Kokani language, there is no thank you word. Yes, sir. so they but say no, "Dev no, one, one thing, one thing about it, Samuel. I mean, I'm a little biased. Mm -hmm. A lot of Catholics and Christians always, always say this all the time. It's very good to hear. And even Hindus, I pratna karta hu. Yeah. Something which is so common in India, I don't think it is it is seen anywhere. And, it, and it's more in Goa. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I absolutely. have stayed in other states, but here it's absolutely ninety yeah. percent of patients. Yes, Samuel, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So next question, uh, question by Doctor Pankaj Lakshman Chavan. It is harmful to be too honest and ethical in your practice, since after being hundred percent ethical in treating the patient he might not understand or appreciate it. Absolutely. You want to say something? <laughs> yes, yes. My another teacher, Professor N.S. Vaya, <clears throat> he's late N.S. Vaya and, and Professor Vick is also late N.S. Vaya. I, he was, he's the man who brought psychiatry to India in the 40s. 
and in KM hospital, he was given a constable and a place adjacent to the morgue to start a department. And he was the first person who did some research on yoga and mental health in the 50s. And in the, in the 90s, I sat with him for long, long years. He was old and he sat with me and he, and he really, really taught me Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, translated in Sanskrit into, into English twice. And when I sat with him, he told me something very important that has stuck to me. Dr. Harish Shetty, 50% of the patients will praise you and 50% of patients will, will talk bad about you. And remember one thing, when they praise you, you may be surprised why they praise you, because you did your duty. And when they really say, say bad things about you, you might, you might feel, why the hell it happened? I think it is important to be ethical. It's important to be honest. Because you are answerable to your conscience. You are not answerable to anybody's conscience. Remember one thing. You might face a lot of trouble even when you are honest. But one thing you have to be very sure is ultimately at the end of the day, when you close your eyes, you are talking to your conscience. You are not talking to somebody else's conscience. You are not, you are not speaking to the article on the front page of the newspaper. An article in the front page of a newspaper dies the next day. Tomorrow is a new day. Your, your dialogue with yourself is more important than your dialogue with the judge in the consumer court. It's more important than the dialogue with the judge, with the, with the, with the, with the newspaper journalist. It's more important than with the dialogue with, against anybody. So ultimately, you'll find that uh, you, you will attain peace. And what is also very important is let us not share a wallet. Let us always share a knowledge. Sharing knowledge is the biggest ambassador for all doctors. So, so I would say, if the MRI guys comes with an envelope with a check, don't take it. Don't take it. He has to earn. You might say, give concession, but don't take it. Because as long as, as, as a doctor, you'll never starve. On your plate, you'll have pamphlet on good days and mandali on bad days, but you'll have some food on top. <laughs> so what is very important is be honest and you'll find yourself that you respect yourself much more than anybody else. But don't don't wear your honesty on your sleeve. I'm honest as I'm honest as I'm honest as No, that is arrogance. That I'll tell you a story. There was this IAS officer who sat in, in front of me one day in my clinic. And he said, um, I, I gave him concession. He said, my both honest my name. And then he said, after that, when going, he said something important. My paisa to kyonikaya, muje dar lakta so I think I think uh, being honest, being ethical is important, and being smart also in practice is also important. Uh, that will stand the test of time, and and will be happier at the end of the day. You might you might struggle, you might face uh, trouble, but but I think it's perfectly all right. So there are another two three questions. Uh, Doctor Suhas Gosavi is saying that, sir, I have seen student who was sent Marathi medium student to semi-English medium with pain in abdomen and absence in school. Yeah, yeah. Pain in abdomen is a psychological symptom of children. Pain in abdomen, okay. headache. You know, when there's a pain in abdomen, most of the time it's a cause is because there's some fear about, about the teacher. There's also some fear about the subject. And it could be because of... of of not being able to do your best in your subject. It could also be because that the father or the mother at home is very aggressive. It also is it's very common to see that in, in children with learning disability because they're not able to fathom and everybody blames them for being, for being lazy, for being uh, not good, not applying their minds. It will also be a sign of depression. So go behind the pain, behind, behind every behavior of the story, behind the story, there are many stories that you need to really go back and check what is happening. Childhood, children who have psychological symptoms also always should be referred to psychiatrists, but also look for porphyria in children, which is also very common. So Dr. Sonal Ambadas Saste, he writes, Sir, can you please guide how to stay focused during exams? Oh, well, this is becoming a child psychiatric concept. <laughs> well, all children who sleep well from, from June to uh, March, they do much better. All children who play and spend time on leisure with their hands and legs, not with their fingers, do much better. In a family where there is less anxiety, children do much better. The temperature in the family is very important. If there's fear and if there's anger, 
memory goes away studies are like water it evaporates when boiled for this when when parents understand the important algebraical algebra formula that acceptance upon expectations has to be greater than one which means you accept the child much more than the expectations you have from the child child feels that he or she is emotionally safe with you he feels that whatever i do they will correct me but they will not throw me the child is more focused yog improves the focus practice test improves the focus but remember your child should not have a self esteem or a self esteem only through academic achievement they should come from many other sources and when a child is in is in is in crisis hug the child a little longer and be stronger and when there's compassion love affection acceptance focus is better if there is attention issues in the child and he is diagnosed to be adhd or something else important to treat the adhd and at some point of time remember one thing which is very important somebody has said that the the nail in the coffin of adhd is awareness so if you improve awareness of the child if you improve the journey of the child within understanding himself within focus is much 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 better thank you samuel so uh, thank you last two questions we will take and questions. then we'll be end yeah yes sir dr sachin kumar khade again how to treat post covid depression well like the way you treat all other depression but answer all the questions of the patient see that you are in touch with the okay. chest physician who who treated the the patient of covid and use antidepressants check for for social ideas and use antidepressants as long as do you think it should be sometimes look at neural issues of covid and see to it that you talk to a, a neurologist if there's anything you can do also look at the fact that at the time of covid they have, they were given a lot of steroids so keep keep in touch with the chest physician so that the 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 steroids are tapered and a liaison uh, activity between the chest physician and neurologist and uh, and dr sachin will help the patient to improve much faster dr sachin has been asking me marathon questions on behalf of everybody i think <laughs> dr naresh uh, daulatani uh, sir can you sir can chronic pain not relieved by all drugs such as ssri snri tca b fibromyalgia or is it depression fibromyalgia is something i don't i don't believe go to the pain go go behind the pain find out if the pain is a gain for the patient whether the pain helps the patient avoid 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 certain tasks whether the pain is 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 a is a conversion of psychological symptoms into pain go into the history in detail i still remember this patient who did not want to go and work in a particular industry but the father was forcing him and i went back and he said dekho mera father is like is like hitler he will not allow me to do what i want i want to do music and he wants me to do engineering i did engineering because he told me because i'm i'm a bright guy i can finish a course but my heart is in music doctor can you can you tell him i told inside in my mind that if i tell him he'll blow it he'll blow it on me but you know what hari shetty hari shetty then i told him i sat down with him and said hey, babu to kyon iska dimag ka gussa banata in english and then then he started crying he said he said uh, you know i can't go and tell my my relatives that my son wants to do music and I, and I, and after very long time he partially accepted and and the pain actually went away sometimes you have to go back to stories and check what exactly is happening to the child thank you very much sir thank you, i thank have you. i have no words uh, about your presentation and as usual dr harish shetty means a great talk and again a uh, once more a great talk with lovely presentation fantastic ppts and kindly share i would share with all the uh, i will doctors. i will i will, I will send it I, to you i i thank all the participants 244 participants to be here and i thank again uh, dg shield i thank mr piyush i thank once again dr shetty to be i know mr piyush he was there for a show for some other show in the past thank you piyush for doing all that and thank you all the doctors waiting to come to goa and thank have you, a live sir. chat with you very soon as thank soon you, as you can Yes, and sir, I would definitely. love to have the fish which you always give me. Allow to have all the hospitality, and Goa is the most hospitable place for me in my experience as a doctor traveling across the country and abroad for lectures. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.